de pie. Please stand.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, peace be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Welcome to our Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels for the ordination to the diaconate. Bienvenidos todos a la Catedral de Nuestra Señora de Los Ángeles para ordenación al diaconado. It is a special day of joy for the Archdiocese of Los Angeles as we uh, ordain our brothers to the diaconate. So let us uh, especially pray. Uh, uh, today is the uh, Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So let's especially pray to our Blessed Mother for her intercession. Uh, celebramos hoy la fiesta del Inmaculado Corazón de María. Le pedimos su intercesión especialmente por los diáconos que van a ser ordenados. So let's start our celebration acknowledging our sins and preparing ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. I confess to oh, Almighty God and to, to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters. I have great sin in my thoughts and in my words, in my words. when I have done. May our mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Dios 
taught the ministers of your church to seek not to be served, but to serve their brothers and sisters. Grant, we pray, that these, your servants, whom you graciously choose today for the office of deacon, may be effective in action, gentle in ministry, and constant in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Okay. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you, a prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Oh, Lord God, I said, I know not how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered me, Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them. I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth. Saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
aquí estoy Señor para hacer tu voluntad Here am I Lord I come to do your or offering you wished not but ears open to obedience you gave me holocaust or sin offerings you sought not then said Estoy, Señor, para hacer tu voluntad. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Como está escrito en Estoy, Señor, para hacer tu voluntad. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. Restrain my lips. Aquí estoy, Señor, para hacer tu voluntad. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your Lectura del Libro de los Hechos de los Apóstoles En aquellos días, como aumentaba mucho el número de los discípulos, hubo ciertas quejas de los judíos griegos contra los hebreos de que no se atendía bien a sus viudas en el servicio de caridad de todos los días. Los dos se convocaron entonces a la multitud de los discípulos y les dijeron, no es justo que dejando el ministerio de la palabra de Dios, nos dediquemos a administrar los bienes. Escojan entre ustedes a siete hombres de buena reputación, llenos del Espíritu Santo y de sabiduría, a los cuales encargaremos este servicio de la Palabra. Todos estuvieron de acuerdo y eligieron a Esteban, hombre lleno de fe y del Espíritu Santo. 
a Felipe, Prócoro, Nicanor, Timón, Pármenas y Nicolás, prosélito de Antioquía. Se los presentaron a los apóstoles y estos, después de haber orado, les impusieron las manos. Mientras tanto, la palabra de Dios iba cundiendo. En Jerusalén se multiplicaban grandemente el número de los discípulos. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. Be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you lord. the lord jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit he said to them the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. 
If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Let those to be ordained deacons Please stand when your name is called. Juan Manuel Villaseñor. Jose Alfredo Salcedo. Alfredo Santillan. Victor Manuel Ramos. Jesus Alvarado. Juan Hernandez, Alirio Armando Herrera, Jose Victor Lopez, Miguel Angel Zamora, Patrick Carmen, Bruce A. Clark, Ronald Davino, Ezequiel Martinez, Robert Mesher, Carlos M. Rodriguez, Raul Santa Cruz. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, to the responsibility of the diaconate. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon recommendation of those responsible, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these, our brothers, for the order of the diaconate. Thank Thanks be to God.
My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as I was saying, this is a day of great joy for the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. And I know it's a beautiful day for all of you who are going to be ordained, your wives, your families, your parishes. Today, by the imposition of the bishop's hands, our brothers will be consecrated to the mystery of the Word of God and the ministry of charity in the service of the whole people of God. The diaconate is a form of sacred office of apostolic origin. Strengthened by sacramental grace, the Second Vatican Council says, they are dedicated to the people of God. In unity with the bishop and his body of priests, in the service of the liturgy of the gospel and of works of charity. Un día de gran alegría para todos en la arquidiócesis de Los Ángeles, especial para cada uno de ustedes, sus esposas, sus familias y sus parroquias. Hoy, nuestros hermanos recibirán la ordenación al diaconado para ejercer el ministerio de la Palabra de Dios y la caridad en el servicio de toda la familia de Dios. So, my brothers, you were born for this moment. That's the meaning of the first reading we heard today. That the prophet, you have been chosen. Our Lord is speaking to each of you personally today. Before I formed you in the, in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. This is the mystery of election, the mystery of vocation. Before you were born, God, no, God knew you, and he loved you, and he wanted you for this service. You are called today, as the prophet was called, to speak the word of God, to serve his family on earth. And as the prophet was calling his moment in the history of salvation, you are called in yours. You have been ordained at the end of the pandemic. So you are part of the pandemic deacons. <laughs> uh, you are ordained in this moment when our church is emerging from a time of isolation and disruption. In these moments after the pandemic, your unique position as deacons will give you an important role to play in helping people return to life after this time of sickness and death. Dios los llama personalmente en este tiempo difícil, el término de la pandemia. Su vocación es un llamado urgente para ayudar a todos nuestros hermanos y hermanas a confiar en Dios y volver con entusiasmo a nuestras comunidades de fe. And in the gospel today, Jesus gives you two words to proclaim in your ministry. He tells you, first, say, peace to this household. This is the great message we must bring in this moment, my brothers, the peace of Christ. After this long trial of sorrow and loneliness, insecurity and fear, we need to say to everyone, peace. Christ be with you. God's love is true. We need to bring this word of peace to every family, to every household in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. Then, the, then our Lord gives you another word to guide you in your ministry. He tells you, say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. As his deacons, our Lord is sending you out to be messengers of hope. He's sending you out to proclaim the good that the world is still the object of his love, his loving care and his plan of salvation in Christ Jesus. Dos palabras en la liturgia de la misa de hoy 
que Dios nuestro Señor quiere que tengan presente en su ministerio en estos tiempos difíciles y siempre. Paz y esperanza. Dios quiere que sean mensajeros de paz y de esperanza. Que llevemos la paz de Dios y la alegría de la esperanza a todos, con la belleza de la verdad, del amor de Dios por todos nosotros. And my dear brothers and sisters, our mission in the church in this moment is to bring that peace and hope to everyone, especially to bring our people back, to welcome them back to church, and to reach out to them with the loving arms of our parish communities. As we know, the parish is where the kingdom of God is made real in the celebration of the Eucharist. We need to lead a Eucharistic renewal in our parishes, especially after having our churches shut down and our access to the Mass and the Eucharist restricted in the past year. The Eucharist, as we know, is the great mystery of our faith, the great gift of God that He gives us in the body and blood of Christ, made present in the bread and wine we offer on the altar in the Holy Mass. So, my brothers, I pray that in your ministry, you will make a special intention to draw people, to draw people to the Eucharist, to awaken in them the desire to be near to Jesus in His real presence and to live by the bread that He gives us. You have been called to a great and noble vocation. My prayer for you is that you stay close to Jesus, that you love Him more deeply and imitate him in his humble service to our people. And as I was saying before, you are ordained on the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So stay close to Mary, our Blessed Mother, the humble handmaid of the Lord. May she watch over you and teach you to always follow the word of her Son and to do his will with joy. Hoy, que es la fiesta de la Inmaculado Corazón de María, Le pedimos a ella que los acompañe siempre y que los ayude a estar muy cerca de su Hijo Jesús. And my dear brothers and sisters, let us all pray for our brothers ordained today and for all our deacons that they continue their general service to the people of God in the Archdiocese. Immacula, Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Immaculado Corazón de María, ruega por nosotros. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Beloved brothers and sisters, since these are sons who are your relatives and friends and are to be advanced to the order of deacons, consider carefully the nature of the rank in the church to which they are about to be raised. Strengthened by the gift of the Holy Spirit, they will help the bishop and his priest in the ministry of the Word, of the altar, and of charity, showing themselves to be servants to all. As ministers of the altar, they will proclaim the gospel, prepare the sacrifice, and distribute the Lord's body and blood to the faithful. Furthermore, it will be their duty, as the bishop's direction, to exhort believers and unbelievers alike, and to instruct them in holy doctrine. They will preside over public prayer, administer baptism, assist at and bless marriages, bring viaticum to the dying, and conduct funeral rites. Consecrated by the laying on of hands that comes down to us from the apostles, and bound more closely to the service of the altar, they will perform works of charity in the name of the bishop or the pastor. With the help of God, 
they are to go about all these duties in such a way that you will recognize them as disciples of him who came not to be served, but to serve. Now, dear sons, you are to be raised to the order of the diaconate. The Lord has set an example that just as he himself has done, you also should do. As deacons, that is, as ministers of Jesus Christ, who came among, um, came among his disciples as one who served, do the will of God from the heart. Serve the people in love and joy, as you will the Lord. Since no one can serve two masters, look upon all defilement and avarice as serving false gods. As those who are chosen by the apostles for the ministry of charity, you should be men of good reputation, filled with wisdom and the Holy Spirit. Firmly rooted and grounded in faith, you are to show yourself chaste and beyond reproach before God and man, as is proper for the ministers of Christ and the stewards of God's mysteries. Never allow yourselves to be torn away from the hope offered by the gospel. Now you are not only hearers of this gospel, but also its ministers. Hold the, my the mystery of faith with a clear conscience. Express by your actions the word of God, which your lips proclaim, so that the Christian people, brought to life by the Spirit, may be a pure offering accepted by God. Then, on the last day, when you go out to meet the Lord, you will be able to hear him say, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Dear sons, before you enter the order of the diaconate, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve to be consecrated for the church's ministry by the laying on of my hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I do. Do you resolve to discharge the office of deacon with humble charity in order to assist the priestly order and to benefit the Christian people? Do you resolve to hold fast to the mystery of faith with a clear conscience, as the Apostle urges, and to proclaim this faith in word and deed, according to the Gospel and the Church's tradition? Do you resolve to maintain and deepen the spirit of prayer that is proper to your way of life, and in keeping with this spirit, and it was required of you, to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours, with and for the people of God, and indeed, for the whole world. Finally, do you resolve to conform your way of life always to the example of Christ, of whose body and blood you are ministers at the altar? Let's do it again, no? Great. Now I come on.
¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a ti esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. ¿Prometes obediencia y respeto a mí y a mis sucesores? Sí, prometo. Que Dios mismo lleve a término esta obra buena que en ti ha comenzado. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment.
Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. My dear people, let us pray that God, the all-powerful Father, will mercifully pour out the grace of his blessing on these, his servants, who make his kindness raises to the holy order of the diaconate. Please kneel. Lord, deliver 
over us, we pray. By the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Lord, deliver us, we pray. Be merciful to us sinners, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Govern and protect your holy church, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Keep the Pope and all the ordained and faithful service to your church. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless these chosen men. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless and sanctify these chosen men. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bless, sanctify, and consecrate these chosen men. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bring all peoples together in peace and true harmony. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Comfort with your mercy the troubled and the afflicted. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Strengthen all of us and keep us in your holy service. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord God, mercifully, mercifully hear our prayers and graciously accompany with your help what we undertake by virtue of our office. Sanctify by your blessing these men we present, for in our judgment we believe them worthy to exercise sacred ministries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand.
Draw near, we pray, Almighty God, giver of every grace, who apportion every order and assign every office, who remain unchanged, who make all things new. In your eternal providence, you make provisions for every age, as you order all creation through him who is your word, your power, and your wisdom, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. You grant that the Church, his body, adorned with manifold heavenly graces, draw together in the diversity of its members, and united by a wondrous bond through the Holy Spirit, should grow and spread forth to build up a new temple. And as one you chose the sons of Levi to minister in the former tabernacle, so now you establish three ranks of ministers in, the, in their sacred offices to serve in your name. And so in the first days of your church, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, your son's apostles appointed seven men of good repute to assist them in the daily ministry, that they might devote themselves more fully to prayer and preaching of the word. By prayer and delay on our hands, they entrusted to these chosen men the ministry of serving at table. We beseech you, Lord, look with favor on these servants of yours, who will minister at your holy altar, and whom we now humbly dedicate to the office, and we now humbly dedicate to the office of deacon. Send forth upon them, Lord, we pray, the Holy Spirit, that they may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace for the faithful carrying out of the work of the ministry. May there abound in, may there abound in them every gospel virtue, unfeigned love, concern for the sick and poor, unassuming authority, the purity of innocence, and the observance of the spiritual discipline. May your commandments shine forth in their conduct, so that by the example of their way of life, they may inspire the imitation of you holy people. In offering the witness of a clear conscience, may they remain strong and steadfast in Christ. So that imitating on earth your Son, who came not to be served, but to serve, they may be found worthy to reign in heaven with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. I 
Recibe el Evangelio de Cristo, del cual has sido constituido mensajero. Esmérate en creer lo que lees, enseñar lo que crees y vivir lo que enseñas. Recibe el Evangelio de Cristo, del cual has sido constituido mensajero. Esmérate en creer lo que lees, enseñar lo que crees y vivir lo que enseñas. Recibe el Evangelio de Cristo, del cual has sido constituido mensajero. Esmérate en creer lo que lees, enseñar lo que crees y vivir lo que enseñas. Recibe el Evangelio de Cristo, del cual has sido constituido mensajero. Esmérate en creer lo que lees, enseñar lo que crees y vivir lo que enseñas. Recibe el Evangelio de Cristo, del cual has sido constituido mensajero. Esmérate en creer lo que lees, enseñar lo que crees y vivir lo que enseñas. Recibe el Evangelio de Cristo, del cual has sido constituido mensajero. Esmérate en creer lo que lees, enseñar lo que crees y vivir lo que enseñas. Recibe el Evangelio de Cristo, del cual has sido constituido mensajero. Esmérate en creer lo que lees, enseñar lo que crees y vivir lo que enseñas. Recibe el Evangelio de Cristo, del cual has sido constituido mensajero. Esmérate en creer lo que lees, enseñar lo que crees y vivir lo que enseñas. Recibe el Evangelio de Cristo, del cual has sido constituido mensajero. Esmérate en creer lo que lees, enseñar lo que crees y vivir lo que enseñas.
Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach.
Congratulations, the Gavin Ordain Deacons. Felicidades. Pueblo 
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Holy Father, whose Son chose to wash the disciples' feet and so set us an example, accept, we pray, the oblations of our service and grant that offering ourselves as a spiritual sacrifice we may be filled with the spirit of humility and zeal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our dear and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the New and Eternal Covenant. And by your wondrous design, we're pleased to decree that many ministers be exercised in the Church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry to the laying on of hands. He chooses them to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word, and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be confronted with the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Sana, 
To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, my assistant bishops, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that to your whole family, which we make to you, also for your servants, who you have been pleased to raise to the order or the diaconate, and your mercy keeps set your gifts in them, so what they have received by divine commission, they may fulfill by divine assistance. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion and the Resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, 
we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of high priest Melchizedek, holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation of the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Llenos de alegría por ser hijos de Dios, sigamos confiadamente la oración que Cristo nos enseñó. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Tuyo es el reino, tuyo el poder y la gloria por siempre, Señor. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu Iglesia. Conforme a tu palabra, concédele la paz y la unidad. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amén. La paz del Señor esté siempre con todos ustedes. Y con tu espíritu.
tulis pe kata mundi Miserere nobis Anius dei Cui tulis pe kata Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Señor, no soy digno de que entres en mi casa, pero una palabra tuya bastará para sanarme. El cuerpo de Cristo me guarde para la vida. As you come forward this morning to receive the body of Christ, I invite you to please follow the directions of the ushers. Communion is only given on the hand. So as you stand before the minister of the Eucharist, if you'd extend your arms out with your palms up, please keep your facial mask on. Once you have received the body of Christ, if you would proceed to a yellow X on the floor, there you may lower your mask, consume the body of Christ, put your mask on, and then return to your place in the pew. We'd ask that even if you are not receiving communion this day, that you would continue to follow the communion line in your pew. Therefore, we're able to maintain the social distance that is asked of us. Thank you. Hoy día les pido por favor que sigan las instrucciones de los sugieres a recibir el cuerpo de Cristo. El cuerpo de Cristo solamente se recibe en la mano. Si ya cuando están enfrente del ministro de la, de la Eucaristía, Les pido por favor que extienden sus manos con sus palmas para arriba, reciben el cuerpo de Cristo. Es importante que mantengan la mascarilla. Ya cuando tienen el cuerpo de Cristo en su mano, pueden caminar, van a ver un X amarillo en el piso. Ahí bajan su mascarilla, consumen el cuerpo de Cristo y luego siguen a su lugar en la banca. También les pedimos que, aunque quizás no van a recibir la comunión, que siguen la línea, así podemos mantener la distancia social. So, muchas gracias. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for men. just and the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who delight in them. May we always serve one another. Majestic and glorious his works, his justice stands firm forever. 
He has given us a memorial of His wonders. The Lord is gracious and merciful. May we always serve one another. He gives food to those who fear Him, keeps His covenant ever in mind. His mighty works He has shown to His people by giving them the heritage of nations. May we always serve one another.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, O oh Lord, to your servants, who you have replenished with heavenly food and drink, that for the sake of your glory and the salvation of believers, they may be found faithful as ministers of the gospel, of the sacraments, and of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Ahora invitamos a las esposas de los diáconos recién ordenados a ponerse de pie y pasen enfrente cuando escuchen su nombre. We now invite the spouses of our newly ordained deacons to please come forward as your name is called. Juana Alvarado, Kathleen Carmen, Virginia Gutierrez Clark, Maria Eugenia Herrera, Ligia Lopez, Lourdes Martinez, Lisa Mesher, Alma Ornelas Divino, María de Jesús Ramos, Lucy Elena Rodríguez, Luz Santa Cruz, Luisa Santiago, Mayola Santayán, Sandra Saucedo, Elvia Villaseñor, María Guadalupe Zamora, Su Excelencia Arzobispo Gómez. Es un placer presentarle a estas mujeres que juntas con sus esposos han caminado esta jornada de fe en la formación diaconal hacia este día en el cual sus esposos han sido ordenados al orden sagrado del diácono. Reconociendo que han hecho muchos sacrificios personales a lo largo de la formación, les agradecemos y honramos su testimonio ante el pueblo de Dios. El esfuerzo de ellas da testimonio a la bondad del matrimonio y a los valores familiares. Unidas a sus esposos, dan testimonio del amor de Dios que se hace visible en Jesucristo, su Hijo. Your Excellency Archbishop Gomez, together with their fam families, we present to you these women who have walked the journey of faith toward this day on which their husbands have been ordained to the sacred order of deacon. Knowing that they have made many personal sacrifices over the years of formation, We thank and honor them for their bold witness before the people of God. They witness to the goodness of marriage and the value of family. Standing together with their husbands, they witness to the love of God made visible in Jesus Christ, his son. So congratulations to you all. Too.
Okay, please be seated. So we are now we have this beautiful certificate that we are giving to you. Congratulations. Congratulations. The certificate that the women have testifies that they have participated fully in the diaconate formation program together with their husbands and that they too are formed well formed to serve the people of god and i'd like everyone to show your gratitude for everything done So we have the tradition of praying the uh, prayer for vocations before the final blessing. So uh, you have it in your program on page nine. So please stand that we can pray together. Good and gracious, gracious God, God, you have called us to our baptism, to discipleship with your Son, Jesus Christ, and have sent us to bring the good news of salvation to all people. We pray you to grant us more priests, deacons, religious brothers and sisters, and lay ministers to build up your church here within the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, inspire our young men and women by the, by the example, example of St. Universal, universal. Yeah. we do insist totally to the work of Christ in this church. church. We ask this in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Lord. Lord. the Lord. Amen. Amen. So before the uh, final blessing, I just want to uh, once again acknowledge the wives and family members and friends of the newly ordained. Uh, thank you very much for accompanying us and uh, let us keep uh, praying for our brothers as uh, they started the ministry here in the Archdiocese. We also want to thank the pastors and the uh, uh, members of the home parishes of the near ordained deacons. We want to thank the Diacon Information Office, Deacon Brian Conroy, Director, Deacon Arturo Barragan, Deacon Melesio Zamora, Father Jim Clark, Father Felix Just, 
Marlene Martinez. And uh, the deacons in ministry office, the director, Deacon Shane Cola. So we also want to thank uh, uh, all the uh, ones that were helping the deacons during the, the formation time, the class facilitators at Journey Couples. Uh, thank you very much for helping uh, in the formation of uh, deacons in the Archdiocese. Today we also want to thank the cathedral staff and the volunteers, the altar servers, that are uh, the seminarians from the Queen of Angels Center for Priestly Formation. Thank you very much. And finally, again, a uh, word of congratulations to the, line, to the nearly ordained deacons and their wives. Congratulations to you. And as, as I always say to the linear, newly ordained priests and deacons, you have your faculties that I gave you before Mass. So now we expect you to start working. <laughs> start your ministry in the archives. It's a blessing for us. So we hope that uh, in your parishes you start making a contribution and helping your pastors for the service of God. Re remember those two words that uh, uh, we heard today in the Gospel, peace and hope. That's what we especially need during this time. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who has called you to the service of others in his church, give you great zeal for all, especially the afflicted and the poor. Amen. 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 May he who has entrusted you with preaching the gospel of Christ help you as you live according to his word to be its sincere and fervent witnesses. Amen. Amen. May he who has appointed you stewards of his mysteries May you imitators of his son, Jesus Christ, and ministers of unity and peace in the world. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Amen.
caminamos juntos en la fe de Cristo luz en nuestra senda es el don de Dios antorcha de fe que ilumina al mundo en el nombre de Cristo laudate laudate dominum omnes Laudate Dominum, exultate, jubilate, veranos Domini, omnes gentes. Laudate, laudate Dominum, omnes gentes. Laudate Dominum, exultate, Jubilee.